I'd say if you said, what's the evolution in my mind, which is what I want to get into, of what it takes, though, to be a great leader, is that I think in general we're moving, and certainly at TD dramatically have moved, is that you are not looking for the great leader who can brilliantly answer the, every one of those questions. And so the theory that what you just have to do is find this perfect CEO who's got that great judgment that they get it right all the time, in my view, is a very dangerous theory. Because in fact, if you look at the banks that went down, they all had great leaders. And they all had a string of successful calls and then they went one step too far and they took their institutions down. So in fact, what was missing? What was missing was a culture of challenge, a culture of transparency, and a team around them that in fact felt empowered to say, no, this is crazy, we shouldn't be doing this. There's something fundamentally wrong in the business judgment against the great leaders. So I come with a quite strong bias against the great leader theory, and I think it's a dangerous phenomena if you build organizations around the great leaders. What really great leaders do is produce great teams and great cultures of pushback and transparency. That's what should be the ultimate measure of a great leader. But I think they have to do more than that. I think they have to, one of the things that we've certainly learned it's TD, if you think about TD, and uh, it's TD is very much a brand company, very much a marketing company, and brand is really trying to create an employee experience that you can deliver on a consistent basis across multiple channels and businesses and now geographies. And I think if I had the biggest learning for me was that you had to spend the equal amount of energy in creating an employee brand. Because if you were going to, in fact, execute that strategy, what you had to do is attract people, not just competent people, but attract people that actually bought into the culture that produced that sustainable performance over time. And instinctively on all the questions that we have, we get to the right answer. Because in our case, because we're heavily a retail bank, actual decision making is made, in fact, down at the bottom of the organization, not at the top. And so the real challenge is how do you get all of that thinking down in the organization so everyone says, I get what the strategy is, I get what the culture is, and I know more about this area than the people at the top who don't really know very much about anything, and I know how to translate what they're talking about in, into the right decision for my area.